<laughs> no. Okay, so we finally got waves yesterday, and it was insane. Like, it was really, really fun. I don't know if the footage will actually do it justice, but it was just such a blast. Every wave was a barrel, as many as you could possibly catch. Um, it's a new day. The wind looks light instead of offshore, and it should be kind of a slack tide, so... We don't know if we're still gonna continue the streak of good surf that we had yesterday evening, but we're about to find out. Chris and Ned went to check the waves and they didn't come back. So that meant it was good. But I guess Chris is just yelling from the lineup. He's saying the current's going the opposite way down the lineup. So that's pretty interesting because the tide hasn't um, bottomed out yet. It's still changing. So switch happens uh, not at a top or a bottom, but uh, super clean looking right now. We're gonna go have fun. Maybe I'll grab a GoPro if it's big enough and uh, try to get some two shots. It's all time right now, day of days. Insane, just us around and our buddies. I have to take the GoPro out and try to get some clips. These barrels are insane. Oh dear. Oh my God.
That session was unbelievable. One of the coolest 
reef waves I think I've ever surfed in my life. It's so, so hollow. Anything from like the smallest wave that's breaking on that reef all the way up to like psychotic eight foot plus waves that I saw, just like that. Um, I, I didn't even imagine that we'd score something like that on this trip or even score like okay waves based on our first week and that, getting that crazy wind and rain. Yeah, I've, I haven't had a session like that with no one around and I can't even remember when. Insane.